There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, can blood tests detect high blood pressure? Answer by Angela Punis. An echocardiogram, or echo, is an ultrasound scan of the heart. It uses high frequency sound waves to create an image of your heart. Source video, blood pressure exercises VSLCB. This is a painless procedure that is usually performed in hospital or in an outpatient clinic. Y'all have jelly applied to your bare chest, and an experienced operator will move the probe around your chest to get good views of your heart. An electrocardiogram ECG, is a test that records the electrical activity of the heart. The ECG reflects what's happening in different areas of the heart and helps identify any problems with the rhythm or rate of your heart. The ECG is painless and takes around 510 minutes to perform. In this test, electrodes are connected to a small box and attached to a belt. You wear this belt for 24 hours, as you go about your normal daily activities. The ECG will be monitoring and will be able to record any abnormalities over the day. You'll also be asked to record any symptoms. Then this can be assessed by the electrophysiologist or cardiologist. This stress test, or exercise tolerance test, ETT, or treadmill test, is similar to an ECG but records the activity of the heart as it works harder, for example while you're walking on a treadmill. This exercise ECG records how the heart responds to exercise. This scan shows how well blood is reaching the heart muscle through your coronary arteries. A small amount of thallium, radioactive substance, is injected into a vein, and a special camera moves around your heart. The camera picks up traces of thallium and produces pictures. As thallium doesn't travel well to areas where tares support blood supply, the pictures can be used to see how well blood is reaching your heart. It's a useful alternative to an exercise test if this can't be done or when specific information on your heart muscle is needed which a treadmill exercise test can't provide. A coronary angiogram is a type of x-ray used to examine the coronary arteries supplying blood to your heart muscle. It's considered to be the best method of diagnosing coronary artery disease, conditions that affect the arteries surrounding the heart. During the test, a long, flexible tube called a catheter will be inserted into a blood vessel in either your groin or arm. The tip of the catheter will then be fed up to your heart and coronary arteries. A special dye will then be injected through the fine catheter into your coronary arteries, and X-ray images will be taken. These images created during angiography are called angiograms. Answer by StarMax. A blood test is a laboratory analysis of those components on your blood. Normal blood tests may be ordered to keep tabs on just how well you and your physician are handling a condition like diabetes or higher cholesterol. They're also arranged during regular checkups and ill visits. A. A blood test is arranged by healthcare providers to assist. B. Discover how well essential organs like your kidneys. C. Help diagnose diseases like diabetes, cancer, cardiovascular, coronary disease, also HIV slash AIDS. D. Figure out if your immune system has troubles fighting infections. E. Diagnose anemias. F. Find variants in hemoglobin like hemoglobin C, S, or A, G. Monitor chronic health ailments and ailments. It's your right to understand why a particular test has been ordered, so ask your physician if you aren't sure why he or she would like you to get the test. It's highly suggested that you should do a comprehensive blood test every six weeks. The cause of this is just that early detection saves live. S. There are various sorts of blood tests to take into account ranging from the healthy cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood flow to more life-altering ones like cancer evaluation and infectious diseases. Now we discuss a number of the most frequent kinds blood tests offered for your consideration. 1. Complete blood pressure test. This is among the most commonly achieved blood tests and it AFBC will tell your physician an excellent deal about the condition of your health. Medical conditions which cause an abnormal blood count include nausea, the presence of a disease and some sorts of cancer. Blood counts can be used for screening, diagnosis or management of certain diseases and medical conditions such as dengue fever, bacterial infections and blood-related cancers. 2. Bipolar Evaluation Renal Profile This profile provides us a snapshot of your kidney's health. This profile may comprise blood urine nitrogen and creatinine that's a byproduct of protein metabolism and can be removed via the kidneys. Among the electrolytes that are tested are sodium which is one of the major salts in the body fluid, 
sodium is important in the body's water balance and the electrical activity of nerves and muscles, potassium helps to control the nerves and muscles, and chloride which helps to maintain the body's electrolyte balance. 3. Liver Function Test Liver function tests are among the broader screening profiles because of the vast number of functions which the liver plays. These evaluations include a. Protein is a measure of the state of nutrition in the body. b. Reflection of the overall state of nourishment. c. Globulin is a significant set of proteins in the blood containing the disease-fighting antibodies. A. Bilirubin, compound involved with live axon is involved in the digestion of the fat. High levels may lead to jaundice that's a yellow discoloration of skin and whites of all these eyes. There are three high liver enzymes that are alkaline phosphatase is a body protein essential in diagnosing appropriate liver and bone functions and may be increased whether there's an obstruction of this biliary system, aspartate aminotransferase, AST or SCID an enzyme located in the heart and skeletal muscle, liver and other organs. Abnormalities may signify liver disorder. 4. Cholesterol Evaluation Lipid Profile Test This is a set of blood tests that show essential information concerning the types, quantity, and distribution of the several kinds of fats, lipids, in the blood. Too much cholesterol in the bloodstream is a significant cause of cardiovascular disease and blood vessel disorder. 5. Blood Glucose Test This non-fasting evaluation, also called A1C, HB, A1C, Though you might have some rather high or low blood sugar values, hemoglobin A1c will provide you a snapshot of the typical quantity of sugar in your blood within that period. Blood glucose control for patients with diabetes, it's not a replacement for daily, regular blood sugar testing. 6. Antibodies Evaluation Rheumatoid Element Rheumatoid element is an antibody that's quantifiable from the blood. The rheumatoid element is really an antibody which can bind to additional antibodies. Antibodies are regular proteins in our blood which are important elements of the immune system. The rheumatoid element is an antibody which isn't usually within the standard individual. Most generally, the rheumatoid element is used as a blood test for the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. 7. Urine Test A regular urinalysis may tell your physician a whole lot. Diabetes, urinary tract infections and kidney issues are among numerous medical conditions which may be detected by regular urinalysis results. Frequently, a regular urinalysis is part of an overall physical examination. A routine urinalysis doesn't detect drugs of abuse. A special drugs of abuse screening evaluation is utilized to discover the presence of these substances. 8. Infectious disease screening. Infectious diseases can be transmitted in several ways. If you have been subjected, you wish to understand fast, as identification and therapy can help prevent additional transmission. Symptoms may indicate a disorder, but laboratory tests for the disease are the only way to validate a diagnosis. Among diseases which are commonly analyzed are HIV, hepatitis, 9. Cancer Evaluation, Tumor Markers We utilize tumor markers to detect the existence of specific forms of cancer within the body, also to track the advancement of cancer therapy. Some examples of typical tumor markers contain a. In ovarian cancers b. Prostate cancers c. Patients with many forms of malignancies, such as pancreatic, esophageal, breast, and lung cancer 10. Heart test cardiac markers Heart attack or stroke compared to those with average amounts. This may lead to heart assault, strokes, and blood vessel blockages at any component of the body. Highly selective C-reactive protein amounts appear to be correlated with amounts of heart disease risk also. Answer by Aaron Maya No no. A blood test helps reveal the components of blood while the blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood on the walls of your vessels. So, for that you will need an external device that can check the pressure on the walls. To know more about this, check out Abudo. They are giving free courses on hypertension for a full year. Their courses cover details on hypertension, lifestyle changes required to live a healthy life with hypertension, guidelines for caregivers and even a checklist for employers. Check it out now to claim your free account.